good neck, give me faith. Hey, mm. eat a pussy, get a taste. Yeah. Designer wrapped around my Hello beautiful souls and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So before we start, make sure you grab yourself a coffee, grab yourself a notebook because we are delving into how to make your 2022 goals actually become a reality. We are manifesting today boys and girls. We are getting the bag. We are making our true desires come true and we are doing it all this year. And we're starting with this video, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first step that I'm going to speak to you guys about and how to really tap into your 2022 goals this year and to really make them a reality. So, we are not talking about writing down our manifestations, maybe looking back in a few years, doing vision boards and having fun and all this stuff. We are talking about that and we definitely want this to be fun, but we are no longer manifesting per se. We are more so... Claiming. We have built up the energy of desire for our manifestations throughout the last three years. The new moon in Aquarius on the 31st of January is definitely going to help cultivate these desires and allow more like action to come into our life. I'll do a whole new moon video in my next video so I can kind of explain to you how to really harness the energy and the power of it. That just explains briefly kind of on a collective that we are all going through this girlfriend, don't you worry. So if you're feeling discouraged with um, you not taking action or your lack of effort or energy put into something, rest assured, it is okay. I will give kind of a brief summary of the collective and what's like kind of going on and what to expect. Our generation right now has kind of been breaking generational curses, healing and just working through a lot of emotions, especially through this Mercury and like retrograde. So it is understandable that all the energy that we've put into healing and opening up sh our shadow self and really allowing in the darkness to shed golden and white light over it. That takes up a lot more fucking energy. So if you don't feel like you can get out of bed at a certain reasonable time or you can't do your dishes that day or you've abandoned your passion project that day or you couldn't get to the gym because of anxiety or whatever other reason, it is okay. And trust me when I say the collective is going through it in their own way. This is coming out in people's lives in their own way right so what might be for you might not be for someone else but they are still experiencing it in their own way and trust me on that the stars don't lie girlfriend and neither do i Too. Now that you have a little bit of an understanding of where your energy might be going, kind of identify where that is as well for you personally. So I've given a couple of examples, but there's going to be something personal to you where your energy has been spent, whether it be on your old self, which I definitely, it's been on my old self. The way I want you to work around this is not what you're experiencing, but how you experience it. So whatever you are moving through, which a lot of us are going through, like, kind of shedding the layers of our old self to allow in this new self that we see, right? The new moon in Aquarius video will explain everything in what to do and how to prepare for that. So rest assured, after that, you will definitely feel equipped and your energy is going to be placed perfectly to be able to really just mm, move through your manifestations. But... That is for that video. We'll get back to what to do overall for like the whole year and how to really knock it down on what you want to become this year, period. So I saw this exercise and I'm not going to take credit for it because I saw it on TikTok. However, this is the original or the first one that I saw. So I did this for myself and I found this to be absolutely amazing. So I've tried vision boards. I've tried writing down heaps of goals and it's a little bit scattered. So a lot of our energy right now is scattered due to where we're placing all that energy. It's not directly on one thing. This is kind of what we're focusing on doing, getting our focus to our desires and taking away the energy from the places that we don't want energy to lie anymore, such as negative emotions about ourselves, like self-doubt, placed on people, such as toxic negative friends or relationships, that kind of thing. So it's really cultivating all this energy from the outside places that no longer serve us and actually are attached to the old version of ourselves, shedding those off and allowing light for the new. And the reason why this is so scary is because when you let go of old, obviously that is like mourning and death of a certain thing because that's no longer in your life yes i understand that but it is allowing new change and for new things to come in so manifesting is all about believing in something before you can physically see it so if you can use the same kind of mindset in this then it will make it a lot more smoother sailing when you 
cultivate your energy back and when this kind of negative reciprocation because you are breaking a cord energetically um when that comes back you'll know how to cultivate and push it away with love or like move through it with love not push it away we want to go through all the things healthily so i want you to open your phone open your laptop or open a magazine whichever one is accessible to you and i want you to create a little banner up the top of an a4 spread sheet of like a mini vision board so don't think about your goals or anything like that don't think about specifics if you've been caught up on specifics like i have kind of let go of everything and allow new for what you want to bring into your life so the best way to do this is through meditation and if you're not used to this it's fine i spent five minutes meditating before i went on to this exercise so you don't need to be a pro whatsoever but you do need to have a clear mind because you need to allow timeline your environment and your body to not be a factor in kind of cultivating this new self if you've got an idea and an image of the new self that you already want to become that is amazing that's all we're wanting to focus on now that you've got this clear vision in your head of who you want to be start getting photos and doing like a mini banner of like a vision board and make it really aesthetic pleasing just make it perfect what you want your dream life to be and obviously vision boards are a whole nother topic if you're familiar with them this will come easy if not i can do a video on them but get that started and then i want you to write 2022 goals and then you're going to write down your 10 goals in present tense so i am a millionaire i drive this car i live in this place i work in these places i do this for a job you get the idea whatever it is that your desires are do it in present tense the idea of this is to embody the person you are wanting to be right so if you're always striving towards the future self and it's not feeling like you presently that is where the kind of you're going like this right so how we want to perfectly form your higher self into your lower self is closing that gap between you thinking it is you in a future tense as opposed to you in a past or present tense we're closing that gap and allowing this person to be the traits and qualities and everything that your current self is so by having statements of what you want to be true and allowing them to be in present tense is where the power lies and a lot of things don't go explained as to why these processes work but my purpose is to allow you to understand it so you can really harness the power of what you're doing because you know what you're doing and why you're doing it so we love that now i want you to print it out i want you either put it on your fridge in your bedroom wherever you can see it every single day put it as your screensaver whatever it might be and i want you to look at this list every single day and i want you to cultivate the energy of one of those desires so if you want to live in a double story mansion hint that's my one um then wake up and how would you feel in the bed that would be in that mansion what kind of sheets would you be like feeling against your body as you wake up and what views would you see as you do wake up and open your blinds what kind of coffee would you drink and out of what mugs and how would you make the coffee down to the little things this is where the embodiment is so potent and i love embodiment the reason why people don't believe or kind of get discouraged with manifesting is because it is very difficult sometimes if you're not used to it to imagine something and believe it to be true when you have not got the evidence yet for example going to the gym i've been going to the gym for six months now i've dropped two dress sizes and i went into it with the idea of being healthier and having the lifestyle of it right i obviously had my goals with my body and my desired look but i didn't allow that to kind of run my thinking and my thought pattern behind going to the gym and this is why i've been successfully going and now i can say i've ticked off my list i'm a healthy person yes i've got still my ideal body shape to go um but i'm so happy with what i see and i'm at like my healthiest and fittest that i've ever been so that's an achievement in itself sister but what i'm getting at with this is your body is in past tense and your mind is where you control it to be. This is the whole thing with quantum physics, so I'm gonna keep it short and sweet um, and take my word, but you can read this book if you want to go more in depth with it, which I definitely will in a video. But for the sake of this video, we won't. Your body runs in past, obviously. It is running on what you have already given it. So if you've been healthy for a week, it's obviously gonna be energizing. You're gonna have energy to do more things. If you've been eating junk food all week, of course, you're gonna feel down and droopy. If you can control your mind to push through what you physically feel, that's the body, get the body out the, out the way. If you can get the timeline of when this is going to be achieved out of your mind, timeless illusion, so get that out of your mind. 
And then take away your environment. Your environment and emotions are kind of like attached. So if you go home and you're depressed, of course, if you keep going to your room and doing the same old routine, then you are going to still be in that emotion because of your environment. This is why it's important to take these three things away. And that allows for your creative part of your brain to just push through because you can't think and create manifestations in the thinking part of your brain. That's the thinking and that comes into play later on. We want the creative part of your brain to be active when we're doing this. Otherwise, the, on, the, on a quantum level and on all the other dimensions and that kind of stuff, all that witchy sounding stuff, um, nothing is happening. If your mind is not, your mind is that strong. So if your mind is not in it, then it's not going to happen. So that is a little bit of a understanding with that. If you want more in depth with full, just how to manifest your life and all about manifestation, if you have no fucking clue what that is, I did do a video and I will link it here and up one of these ones. Um, but yeah, I hope this little exercise helps. So the key points are to embody the person that you want to be to close the gap between who you want to be and who you currently are. Boom. That is where we're marrying the idea of our affirmations and our desires and creating them as one, viewing them every single day. What happens from here on a quantum level is see your brain as kind of like a spider web, okay? And let's just say you're depressed. You are going down one part of the spider web. Doesn't mean any of the other part of the spider web doesn't exist. You just can't see it. If we go this way, because we've meditated and we've envisioned our higher self, then a whole new range of thought process and thinking is going to be available in our brain. But the reason why we don't believe this to be true before it happens sometimes is because we can't fathom that happening until it happens. So you've obviously had a creative flow before or just being in the moment and having fun, right? It's the same kind of concept. The more you think about it or the more you focus on how much you don't have it, the more you're not going to have it. So when you open up to a new whole variety of thought thinking, that is where inspired action is going to take place based on your desires. And that is where the magic lies for real, guys. There is no way if you change something mentally and spiritually within yourself, aka doing this exercise and really believing it with the ways that I've said to do it, there's no way that something can't happen on a quantum level. Something has to change on a quantum level. We don't know how or when that's going to happen and that is where faith comes into it. We have to have faith in the process, trust the process, have faith and hold your spiritual beliefs high because when you do this, this just strengthens the idea of everything. So a way you can kind of hold your spiritual practices high if meditating isn't for you, which that's the first one I would definitely recommend. It could be tarot or oracle cards. I personally have my angel deck, which I've had since I was like 12 years old. They are the absolute best. You can play meditation music or vibe lo-fi music or any type of vibey music, whatever it is. You can burn incense, candles, set the space up to be really vibey and relaxed. And then anything really is meditation. You can do a doing action that can be meditation for you. So whatever kind of spiritual practice that you have, praying, whatever it is, journaling even, anything. The more you practice that, the more it's going to strengthen it and the quicker your desires and your manifestations are going to come to you because the stronger you believe in this process and that bases the timeline and how much of it you allow in. So it's really up to you. I know that can be a scary thought, but rest assured we don't have to stay in survival mode anymore. I understand how that is and really releasing survival mode because that is lack of mindset. So that's the last thing I wanna speak about in this video is the lack of mindset. So don't base your decisions or anything based on lack of something. So don't go towards making money with lack of money. Assume you're abundant and then base your decisions on that. The way that money comes back to you is going to serve you and make you feel better and it's going to come back fucking tenfold as opposed to if you had a lack of mindset while going and trying to get money. So living in abundance wherever that might be. So if you're struggling in a certain area, such as maybe you're depressed, this is a survival mode coping mechanism for a lot of us. So whatever way that comes out as well, monitor and rewire your brain so your thought pattern can then start to kick off with the momentum of what you truly actually want to desire as opposed to what you don't want. So living in abundance as opposed to lack of mindset is another key in strengthening this process. 
Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Leave your dreams and your goals for this year in the comments below. I really want to see them. I'm so excited to see what you guys are up to this year. And I want to live through some of your dreams and some of your lives for a little bit. So please comment them below. I would love to see them. Let me know what you think of my ones. And if you are interested in watching them unfold, seeing my journey and hearing me talk a couple times in between, definitely hit the subscribe button below and I would love to see your face again. And if you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up to let me know you enjoyed it and I will do more of these videos and leave any video suggestions as well in the comments below so I know what you guys would like to see on this channel. Thank you so much guys for tuning in and sharing your precious time with me and listening to me ramble a little bit. The biggest blessings and love I am sending to all of you and I just hope that your manifestations come true just like I know they will. I believe in you guys and I will see you next time. Bye. Mwah.